everyone and welcome back to my fantasy color series here. I am on my third color. Today we'll be going into purple hair color which I have here. For those of you, this is your first time seeing me. My name is Kristen. I am a hairstylist here in Richmond, Virginia. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well as YouTube and Facebook. And I think I have a TikTok. So if you are watching on YouTube, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe. And let's go ahead and roll in with the hair color. So we have tackled red, blue, and green. Now we are going into probably what I would argue to say between red and this and blue-ish. Purple is probably your most, my most requested color because it's one of those just like red. Anyone can do it for the most part. Uh, whether you have the darkest hair, lightest hair, it doesn't matter. Everyone can get to a point where when you lighten to a good level, you can have a purple come on there and it'll show up nicely. The darker and most resistant and even damaged your hair is, you can still put a purple on top and it will show up very nicely. So that is, I think, why it is probably one of the most popular is because purple is just a really, really easy to achieve color. As with all of these colors, the lighter the shade, the faster it dissipates with all of these. So as much as I have people that love the lavender shades, they wash out within your first few shampoos. So what I always recommend is if you want to eventually have a beautiful lavender shade purple, start with a cool tone, darker purple, and then gradually as you shampoo, it will head to that lighter pastel color that you're looking for. Even eventually, purple is really good for if you're eventually, kind of like me, where I eventually, way down the road, kind of want to be blonde, but also for people who want silver hair, purple fades so quickly to that easily, because the way it works is, purple is opposite yellow if you look at a color wheel, and so, and that's also why a lot of blondes use a purple-based shampoo, because it counteracts any of that yellow and brass, Therefore, and with going into silver, you have a lot of purple pigments into a silver. So I always suggest if someone's trying to go into a true silver, start with a purple and let it gradually go because it will just be easier that way than trying to keep with the silver because again, the pastel is gonna fade so quickly. But with that being said, if you are at a point where your hair cannot pull neutral enough, to fight out that yellow. If it's got any yellow brass present, I would recommend it first sticking with more of your red tone sort of purple, as you would see here, especially because I did have red hair prior to. I lifted it out a little bit, still had a pinkish kind of orangish brass color left. So I put the purple on top, thus giving us more of a red based purple. And that's always gonna be your best bet, especially your first transition color. But a more warm purple is still really pretty, pretty and it's not gonna be too brass. Maintenance, as always with these fantasy colors, as I've mentioned previously, always rinse with cold water when you shampoo, as well as use, in this case, a purple shampoo. It's perfect to extend the life. It's the most common color additive shampoo that you can find. I would still suggest salon quality products with this. Don't just use your average purple drugstore brand just because as with any drugstore products, they're gonna have additives in it that are just not gonna be good for extending the life. And if anything, it's going to make it dissipate even quicker. But I think that <laughs> about kind of runs it down because I've gone through the basics of fantasy color in my previous videos. So this is just a refresher all about purple hair. I will be doing a few more videos. I think orange is the next to tackle. And then I might do yellow, pinks, pastels, and silver all in one together because they're all so light. They all fade so quickly. So let me know down below if you have any questions, what you think about this video. Also, let me know how we feel about this new kind of Gen Z hairstyle that I'm trying out here. I don't know how I feel about it. It is, uh, 
it's different for me, I will say, but trying to, you know, keep it fresh, keep it real. So I will see you all on the next video. Bye, loves.